Hello. In this video, I present my free concurrent periodization program for intermediate or advanced athletes. It is really well suited for people that stall relatively fast and helps overcome psychological blockages. I release it for free just because I like you guys. But first, a few words on why it is great and what the advantages are. Feel free to skip to the parts that interest you the most with the chapters below. But now to the advantages of such programs. First, concurrent periodization uses a vast variety of exercises and thus reduces the risk of overuse injuries. It helps you adapt to heavy weights by doing them every single week and maybe even more often. It also removes mental blockages that forces you to train hard by forcing you to train hard. It also prevents over-adaptation to exercises. You do not become, well, mechanically more efficient at the lifts, you just become stronger, which is pretty nice. It also allows you to target your weak points, which is more difficult with other styles of programs. It is also fun and offers a lot of variety and is very fall tolerant. You can sometimes skip a day without doing much harm. You can also choose the speed of your progression and do not require microplates. And you have a new personal record every session, which is pretty damn nice. But now let us come to the, well, exercise selection. What we see here are the four major lifts. Everything else is just the fluff and the assistance exercises. The entire program revolves around those four lifts. The deadlift, the squat, the bench press and the overhead press. The entire program works in four week cycles. And for each main lift, we choose three variations and the main lift we want to get better at. For the deadlift, since I have a problem at the bottom of the lift, I choose deficit sumo deadlift, deficit conventional deadlift and the conventional deadlift to get better at my sumo deadlift. And for the squat, I choose the regular squat, the bended squat, the pause squat and the box squat for similar reasons. At the bench press, I have a problem at the bottom of the lift, thus I do pin presses and pause presses and incline bench press to assist in that. And for the overhead press, I have my sticking point at around the forehead level, thus I use pin presses to target that area well in particular. But let us now come to the actual program. What you can see here is a table that will illustrate the four different weeks of each lift or of each well, cycle of the program. Uh, in the first week, for example, we start on Monday with a regular bench press for four sets of five and for hypertrophy work, we do wide grip overhead presses for four sets of eight. The actual exercises don't matter too much. It is just important that each lift has a main day and an assistance exercise. And you want to hit every muzzle group at least twice a week. Well, roughly the same pause intervals between. On Tuesday, we do deficit sumo for two sets of eight and regular squats for three sets of five. On Thursday, we do incline bench press for four sets of 12 as assistance and the main mover for the overhead press, the regular overhead press, for four sets of five. On Friday, we do regular, well, deadlift for just one set of five and some banded squats for three sets of eight. As you can see here, I color coded the different weeks and the weight gets increased well, compared to the last time you did an exercise. On week five, for example, you would still do the regular bench press for four sets of five, but you could increase the weight by maybe five or 2.5 or one kilogram. And the same is true for all the other exercises. Okay, well, but now some additional information on the program. Your assistance exercises should tackle your individual weaknesses just like the vari variations should. The table was just an example to make it easier for you. You should pick all the variations for the program yourself according to your personal weaknesses. You can use the ones I use, but it's probably not right for you. And I usually further either also do rows or chin-ups and some curl or triceps variation for the long head. And I do alternate both triceps and biceps work and rows and chin-ups. If you have other weaknesses like the chest, do dips or some fly variations. And for the starting values, it is important to choose values you can comfortably move for the respective rep ranges with one or two reps in the tank. You just have to feel it out, I'm afraid. So the first cycle can be a bit challenging. 
and depending on your situation, increases the weight compared to four weeks before by maybe 10, 5 or 2.5 or even 1 kilogram for the lower body and 5, 2.5, 1 or 0 0.5 kilograms for the upper body. And you do just that for as long as you can. If you can't progress at a fast pace anymore, you reduce the increment and continue as usual. Okay, but let us now come to the most important point. All in all, concurrent periodization is based on carryover. A sumo deadlift will make you stronger at the conventional deadlift and vice versa. Strength is a very general skill and not something that just works on sumo deadlift. If I do sumo deadlift as my main mover and approach 250 kg, then my conventional deadlift will also be very, very strong. It's not just the sumo deadlift that gets stronger. And in essence, the program runs four classical uh, linear periodization programs at once. Hence the name concurrent periodization. And each of those well, variations has its own set of well close variations to the four main lifts. And concurrent peri periodization programs have tons of advantages over classical programs. And except for a higher complexity and the need for more exercise equipment, I quite literally see zero downside. Okay, and that's pretty much it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up so I know that I should produce more of this style of content. If you feel like I missed something, feel free to let me know in the comment section so that other people can benefit from your wisdom. Okay, and that's pretty much it for today. Thank you very much and goodbye.